Hello viewers, here is a door craft window table box VN in the ivory color. This is the model number. Ah, oh, jeez, who's going to be able to read that? <laughs> but that's ridiculous. You know, we can kind of see it now. Model. DB-100 series. Oh, made in China. No wonder you can't read the daggone information. This one is from the 2006. 8 of 2006. And it's in quite good condition. I forget where I got this one, but this was not the original one that I had. This one is a used one that I picked up somewhere over the years and I cleaned it up and it looks like I did a good job <laughs> it looks pretty much new I remember these fans very very well back in the 2000s there was a store it was like a pharmacy store I think it was called VCS or something like that and at the time a lot of stores used to have running fan displays. They would have a whole aisle dedicated to fans or half like half of an aisle, one side of an aisle, something like that. And they would have a shelf with the fans on it plugged in and running. And the VSC store, whatever the heck it was, had a selection like that. And they always had a lot of Dorocraft stuff from the 2000s. That's probably why I like the Dorocraft stuff is because I remember going there and seeing that seeing the fans on the display there we went there quite often because the the store the pharmacy store was in the same complex as the grocery store which was the big y or the big q or the big z or whatever it is and that big y is still there there's actually some fans i don't know if they're still there or not but they used to have six gold lines in that store and I remember them slowly getting replaced even years ago. This is going back 15 years or so. And uh, I have no idea if any of those are still there. I should go to that store and check someday and see what fans are there now. Because if there is some of the gold lines left, I'd like to get a picture of them. Anyways, the, the pharmacy store that the Doracraft fans were at is no longer there. It moved out a couple years ago. So that's the end of that store. But anyways, I remember seeing these there. I always liked them. And then there was a house right near the store in fact that was on the way to the store from where I was living at the house and there was always one of these in the top window and so I thought it was cool to see it in there and I really wanted one of these for a long time and then I finally got one and I think part of the thrill of getting one finally was the fact that I could use it in the window because at the other house the windows were very wide but they didn't open very tall and so you couldn't put a box fan in those windows only option was like the Holmes twin window fan I had at the time and then later on I had the the Marvin screen fan that I would use but that was really it that was the only two fans I could use in that window in the bedroom windows and so when I got this I think a lot of the thrill of, of this was being able to use a different fan in the window and then of course I would put it in the window and look at it from the outside and I thought that was really cool at the time <laughs> I still kind of like to do that but anyways as far as the performance goes I think these are pretty good fans they're relatively quiet and while they don't blast out a whole ton of air they seem to blow a good distance away from it so you can put it in the corner of the room and feel a breeze throughout I've always liked these really have oh geez it's on and for it to be on yet anyway so I also with at some point in time a year or two after I got the original ivory one I of course had to have the black one as well and somehow I convinced my grandfather to get it I remember that very vividly I don't remember a lot of things but I remember like certain details of certain events very well and I remember it must have been for my birthday or something he asked me what I wanted and I told him I wanted one of those black Dorocraft fans. And I remember sending him text messages about it. 
which at the time was a big to do because in the you know in the mid two thousands like text messaging was major as in like a new thing and so uh, I remember that I remember that very well I was down in the other at the other house in the old the fan room if you will doing that anyways what a lot of good memories surrounding these fans I remember using this in that bedroom all the time at the other house I was using these uh, I had one of them at my grandparents' house for a while, using it there. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. We'll start it up on low. Now, I did clean and service this, but it seems like the bearings are kind of stiff again. It's been sitting down here for a while, so the bearings probably got stiff from the cold. I'm going to turn this other fan off here so we can hear a noise level on this fan. Now these always, even when they were brand new and properly lubricated, they always seem to start off really slow and they take a while to get warmed up before they start working at full speed. I don't know why that is, but that's just how it is. So even now, like, it's a really gentle breeze coming out of here. Very, very nice and gentle. But yet, if I go back here, well, the camera is the plugged in. If I go back here, you can see like it's still, it's still the same nice gentle breeze that it was, you know, near the fan. So that's one of the things I like about these. Cause I don't need like air blasting around all over the place. I just like a nice, gentle moving of the air, and these do that very nicely. Okay, so it's not quite up to full speed yet, but it's getting there. I'm gonna go to high. I like how the guard is, is designed so it cuts off half of the, whatever you call those things, in here. Otherwise it would get so thick it would start restricting the air. And you can really feel a difference in the airflow. You get a lot more airflow here than you do up here. And that's just a matter of the way the guard is designed. Kind of out of balance. Not terribly, but a little bit. Well, I think that's pretty much up to full speed now. It's, and it's, it's the same deal with low speed. It's not a very powerful breeze, but you can feel it for a very long distance. Now let's drop back down to low. I just kind of like the speed dials on these too. It's got that pattern on it. And it does have invisible writing. It's labeled low, but it's you know, just a little bit of raised font, same color as the background. It's practically invisible. I think this is about full operating speed now. So very quiet, very quiet fan. Good range in the speeds, too. Cut it off. And the spin down time is a little bit short, but it's not too bad. Okay, so that's going to wrap up this video of the Doorcraft DB100 series window table fan.